Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today, Brickset posted this LEGO Modular Buildings Trivia Challenge, and so I figure why not take a look at it. Now, confession here, I've never gotten a LEGO Modular set. It's always my mom, she buys them, I help her build them, we display them and everything. So I'm not going to know everything here. I'm hopefully going to know most of this. Uh, so I figured, why not? Let's give it a shot. Make sure to answer these questions too, guys. Tell me in the comments down below uh, what you said, how uh, how well you scored. I'm, mm, I don't know, not feeling too confident. And if you like this kind of style of video, guys, make sure to tell me and I can do more trivia challenges. I know there have been Star Wars, Harry Potter, uh, other ones like that. So I'll definitely do those if you think uh, you'd like to see them. But without uh, any more daily dealing, let's start this up. Question one. What color are the lampposts which appear on the pavement of outside each modular building? Well, that one's white. I don't, I think they're, I'm going to go with white because that one's white. Kind of cheating, but okay. Uh, so 10255 Assembly Square contains 4,002 pieces more than any other modular building. Yeah, I knew that. Uh, which set contains the second greatest quantity of pieces? Bookshop? and Or the new police station? Hmm. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna go with bookshop. Oh no, no, I didn't get this set. We didn't get this set. I, I, mm, what unit of currency is displayed on the enormous check in one o two five one Brick Bank? I have no idea. I'm gonna say studs. I have literally no. I have not seen any interior pictures of that set. Oh, that's rough. Which modular building was the first to include minifigures without the traditional smiley face? Assembly square, right? I'm going to say assembly square. What business occupies the level immediately above the bakery in assembly square? It's a veterinary. What the heck is this? Psycho psychotherapist? I, don't think so. I think it's a vet. I'm it's either, you yeah, know, it's a vet. I'm going to go with vet. Actually, no, I just took that part. I, I just took that set apart. Hmm. All right. Modular buildings feature base plates of various colors. Yes. Which of the following base plate colors has not appeared within a modular building? Or white. White. Because that was a big deal when the white base plate came out in that creator set by itself. I don't think there's ever been a modular set with a white base plate. I'm going to go that one. What, av oh. <laughs> what advertising slogan is displayed on the sign outside Joe's Garage? In oh, this is the other set we didn't get. Ouch. We'll get you going again. That's really that's really bad. Stutter tire specialist by accident we meet. Spare part center. I'm gonna say we'll get you going again because I like that one's funny. How many modular buildings contain four wheeled motor vehicles? Well, the movie theater with the limo. There was the uh, corner garage with the tow truck. The diner with the pink car. Um, that's all I can. Mm. Do the fire station have a fire truck? Can't remember. I'm gonna say four. Which modular building displays the year of old Kurt Christensen's birth? Town Hall? Or mm. I actually don't know. Hmm. We're gonna go with Town Hall. What colors are the awnings outside the cafe corner? Yellow and white, right? Which modular building would a minifigure need to visit if searching for a recording studio? There's a recording studio in the, not the pet shop for sure. I don't think it's in the diner. Recording studio, recording studio. I'm gonna, ooh, it's, I'm gonna say detective's office. Only one modular building contains stickers. The Palace Cinema. The Palace Cinema. What is the name of the restaurant in 10243 Partisan Restaurant? Chez Albert? We're going to go with that one. Not sure. Um, ooh, uh, oh, 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 no. I don't like this one. I don't like this one. Uh, 10278 Police Station includes three police officers, which is the only other modular building to include a police. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I know this. Hang on. There was a police officer, a female, getting a haircut. In one of the sets, I think it was the detective's office because, no, it had to have been because we don't have the town hall, the fire brigade, or the brick bay. And I know I have that police officer minifigure. It has to be the detective's office. Perfect. Which is the only modular building that has not been mentioned in this quiz? Are there a question among the answers? The green grocer. I'm going to 
I went wrong though. Err. Err. I can't look anything up. My spelling's not my strong suit, guys. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go. Oh, oh, I don't wanna look at the comments. Comments are bad. I'm gonna say green grocer. Don't rush me in the comments for how I, I spelled that. Alright, let's submit. What do we got here? Um view view score. Oh, we're gonna have to adjust this real quick. Alright, here we go. Sorry about that. Uh I got ten right, which is probably about ten more than I thought I was gonna get, to be honest. Alright, this one was cheating. Oh, I cheated. This is the picture right above with the white lamppost. Uh, but we got that one right. Uh no, the police station contains the second greatest quantity of pieces at two thousand nine hundred and twenty-three. Okay, did not know that. That's cool. I got studs right, that was a guess. Which is the first Market Street. Market Street. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It was a dentist's office. Which one has a vet then? I know one of them has a vet. Interesting. Okay. My bad. I yep, that one I felt really confident about. What was this one? By accident we meet. Eh, that's funny. I guess. I don't know. That one's weird. Four? Okay. It was the fire. I got oh, I am very pleased I got that right. I got all the buildings right too. I guess there must have been a fire truck at the fire brigade. Um oh, cool. This was a complete guess. I like that. Uh yellow and white. Okay. I knew it was yellow, so it had to be this one. Uh recording studio. Downtown Diner has a recording studio on the top floor. Ah. Yeah, I really should have researched the modular sets before doing this quiz, because I really just saw I saw it pop up in Brickside. I was like, hmm, why not? And just kind of did it. Uh probably not a good idea. This one. Palace Cinema, correct. I just took that one apart and cleaned it and everything. Had to pull those pieces out. This one, I was reasonably confident about. I'm glad I got that one right. Okay. I detected his office here. Yep. Got that one. No way. No way. I got that right? I was... I, I didn't even know if that was the right name for it. Holy crap, guys. I literally guess i did not think that was how you either spelled that a uh, grocer specifically i didn't even think that was the name of the set is it the weird blue one that only had like a building a tall building and a tiny half building hang on uh we're gonna look this up um green grocer um we're gonna google this real quick okay here we go images no it is not what i was thinking of it is this this set okay I interesting and we're gonna open a bigger picture uh whoop. okay there we go okay weird this is an older one okay interesting all right well that's fair well that's all i got for you guys today though thank you very very much for watching i'll see you all in the very next video and make sure to let me know if you want to see a video like this at some other point in the future because i'd love to do it i had a lot of fun doing this trivia quiz honestly and i mean if you want to see a Harry Potter one, I'm going to do so much better there. Although the Star Wars ones, it's going to be a yikes. So if you want to see that, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. That's all I got for you guys today, though. So thank you very, very much for watching. Make sure to comment down what you, uh, what you guys got on this test. And I'll see you in the very next video. I want you all to have a fantastic and safe day.